We've covered Spongebob mistakes many times on this channel, but we're not going to stop anytime soon because there are so many to cover. Animators work hard, so they're not going to get everything right. There are going to be mistakes in almost every single episode of Spongebob you watch. That's not because the show is bad, far from it. It's just because there's only so much time these animators have to work. And while I feel sorry for these overworked animators, the mistakes we find add a bit of charm because it reminds us that this wonderful show is made by fellow humans. So no, these mistakes don't negatively affect the enjoyment of the show at all. In fact, I quite like them because they are so fun to find. So let's have a look at some Spongebob mistakes. And don't forget to subscribe to enter our monthly shoutout giveaway. In the Season 2 episode titled Your Shoes Untied, Spongebob teaches Patrick how to tie his shoes, but in the process forgets how to tie his own shoes. Unable to tie his shoes, Spongebob goes to his job at the Krusty Krab with untied laces. This causes a few different problems, and the first mistake on this list occurs when Spongebob tries to complete an order for Squidward. Spongebob ends up tripping over his laces and accidentally feeds Squidward a bunch of Krabby Patties in the process. There's a shot that shows Squidward overfed, to say the least. But if you take a closer look, you can see that the menu is missing. What's the hold up? SpongeBob can sometimes be an annoying character, but who would actually want to hurt the little guy? Well, in the episode The Bully, a character called Flats the Flounder constantly threatens to beat up Spongebob. This makes Spongebob incredibly paranoid, and in one shot that highlights Spongebob's paranoia, you can see that Spongebob's eyelashes are missing. Hey Spongebob, Flats is from a town where kicking someone's butt means that he wants to be your friend. And maybe play some sports with you on weekends. In the Season 4 episode titled The Original Fry Cook, Spongebob meets the fry cook who used to work at the Krusty Krab before him. While this episode's plot is good, it's completely irrelevant to the mistake I'm about to show you. In the opening and closing credits of this episode, stand-up comedian Patton Oswalt's name is misspelt. As you can see here, Oswalt's name is spelt with a D when it should be spelt with a T. In the episode A Pal for Gary, Spongebob gets Gary a new friend, completely oblivious to who this friend will eventually turn into. If you've watched this episode before, you'll know that Gary's new friend, Puffy Fluffy, turns into a terrifying monster. Near the end of the episode, Gary scares this horrible monster away from his home. During this scene, there's a shot of Fluffy fleeing from Spongebob's house. But do you notice anything peculiar? Well, if you take a closer look, you should notice that Squidward and Patrick's house are completely missing. SpongeBob can definitely take things too far sometimes, and that's especially the case in the Season 1 episode, Hall Monitor. SpongeBob is given the duty of Hall Monitor by Mrs. Puff, but SpongeBob uses his authority to do many things outside of the boating school halls, and it goes as well as you'd expect. To put it bluntly, absolute chaos ensues, all because Mrs. Puff let him be the hall monitor for the day. In one scene, Patrick is having a conversation with the police. You may not notice this at first, but take a look at the orange policeman's eyelids, as they're the wrong colour. Afternoon, son. Hello, brothers. The episode Rock Bottom is a personal favourite episode of mine. I absolutely love the concept of the episode and the episode's overall creepy vibe. But as good as the episode may be, it's not free from mistakes. And one of those mistakes occurs near the beginning of the episode where Spongebob and Patrick get on a bus. Take a really close look and see if you notice anything. If you looked hard enough, you will notice that Spongebob's arm is missing. Another fun time. 
fantastic day at Glove World. The season 3 episode, Crab Borg, shows Spongebob becoming paranoid after watching a scary movie. What exactly is Spongebob paranoid about? Spongebob thinks that his boss, Mr. Krabs, is secretly a robot. You know, just the usual. This is a great episode, but there's quite an obscure mistake that occurs during the very last shot of the episode. The last shot of the episode is a shot of the Krusty Krab, but take a close look and you'll be able to see something that should not be there. The Help Wanted sign is on the window. A mistake that occurs earlier on in the episode is during a scene where Spongebob and Squidward are watching Mr. Krabs to see if there is any robot behaviour. If you look at this shot, you can see that the cash register has just suddenly disappeared. He couldn't laugh because he's a robot. There's a logical explanation why he didn't laugh, Spongebob. He's obviously heard it before. The only... Hey, it's time to feed Gary. Ha. Plankton has come up with a lot of ways to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula, but I think the most creative way is when he starts a band with Spongebob, Squidward and Patrick in the hopes that it will get him into the Krusty Krab. This imaginative scheme is present within the season 6 episode Krabby Road. When Squidward finally finishes his workout and becomes insanely muscular, he rushes over to Spongebob's house for band practice. But there's something strange about Spongebob's house that I'm sure most people will notice. The door is way too big and the houses are far too small. My perfect dream body! Having a pet is not all fun and games. You have to make sure that they're well fed and every now and then you have to make sure that they're clean. We see this struggle in the season 2 episode, Gary Takes a Bath. Spongebob is desperately trying to clean his pet snail, but it is quite the challenge. Spongebob attempts to trick his pet snail into getting into the bathtub by playing a game of leapfrog. But as Spongebob offers Gary the game of leapfrog, you can see that Spongebob's middle finger is separately outlined. In the season 3 episode, Plankton's Army, Plankton gathers his entire family to steal the Krabby Patty formula once and for all. This is another great episode, but not one that's free from continuity mistakes. At the beginning of the episode, Mr. Krabs is greeted by a robot. If you take a look at the shot, nothing seems out of the ordinary until you realise that something is missing. Have you noticed it yet? Well, the chum bucket is nowhere to be seen. Secret Krabby Patty formula. What a quaint restaurant. I think I will sample their wares. <laughs> <laughs>